Hey guys, I want to show you some really cool iPhone hidden features and changes that you probably don't know about. There should be at least a few hidden features of iPhone that you have never seen before. So if you are excited to see the hidden features and changes on every iPhone, drop a like below. It really helps me out. Also subscribe to stay up to date. Let's get started. In the spotlight search, you probably already know that you can search for apps, contents and messages and all that. But did you know that you can actually do the maths? in the search without the need of a calculator. Things like division, addition, subtraction and whatnot can be done right here in the search. You can even search and track flights directly in here. You don't need to open up any third party applications or Google about it. Just type in the flight number and it will give you all the details you need. You can check the flight status, when it's departed, when it's arriving, the duration and is it still on time. And to make it even more interesting, ask Siri what planes are above you. And it will give you the list of all the planes and make you think where are all these heading to. The next one is a feature first introduced in iPhone 6. It's called reachability, which enables you to access areas of your screen with one hand. So for those of you who like to use their phone with one hand, but struggle to reach out to the upper parts of the screen, would benefit from this. On older iPhones, you enable it by double tapping the touch ID sensor, whereas on the new models, you will slide down on the bottom edge of the screen. But first, you need to enable this feature from settings, accessibility, touch, and reachability. This can be turned on or off from here. Furthermore, Apple also has a similar feature on the keyboard. If you tap and hold on your globe or emoji icon, then there are arrow left and arrow right keyboards. And if you use any of those, it shrinks down your keyboard to like an iPhone 4S or iPhone 5S size and makes it super easy for you to type with one hand. And when you're done, just tap back on the keyboard to make it to the normal size. In addition, if you have iOS 13 installed, you have a swipe keyboard. This means you can swipe to type just like Android devices. Apple didn't make it super hidden, so if you don't feel like typing, then you have the option to swipe to type. Another iPhone hidden feature is if you press and hold on spacebar on any iPhone or iPad, then you can drag the cursor around. It acts like trackpad or mousepad. It's really handy and allows you to navigate text so easily. Scrolling down on iPhone 11 Pro or any iPhone model has been pretty easy and you can tap on the top of the screen to scroll all the way up quickly. But what if you want to scroll down quickly too? This can be done if you swipe down aggressively, but you can literally tap and hold on the scroll bar itself and scroll up and down super fast. If you have heard a song somewhere and only remember some lyrics of it and wondered what the title of the song was, you can type in the lyrics you remember in the Apple Music app and hit search. Apple will find the lyrics you are referencing and show you the song. In my experience, it worked every time. So the next time, if you can't figure out the title of the song, but if there is one lyric stuck in your head, just go ahead and type that in the Apple Music app to figure out. Give it a go. If you have a lot of notification build up over time in the notification center, then you have a choice to delete them individually or by different categories. But if you don't want to delete them one by one, then just long press on the X to clear all your notifications in one go. It's such a cool iPhone hidden feature that could save you the hassle of clearing out every single notification individually. One thing to note here is that there is no going back. So if there is an important notification, then you may want to check that first before clearing all of your notifications in one go. Inside the calculator app, if you have typed in some numbers you didn't mean to and you wanted to go back, you don't have to press on C or AC. Just swipe on the numbers left to right or right to left which works as backspace and then enter the number you initially mean to. This is so handy and I use it all the time when I make typing mistakes. Command Z in MacBook Pro or undo action is probably the function I use most over anything else on my computer. So your iPhone has this function and so does your iPad. You can literally shake your iPhone to undo the text that you didn't mean to delete or remove. You can now on iOS 13 take three fingers and swipe left 
or swipe right to undo or redo respectively. You can also double tap with three fingers to bring up the undo or redo interface and do it that way. Inside the photos app, there is a way to hide photos, but not in a sense that they completely become private or confidential. So all you need to do is tap on the photo, tap on share icon and tap on hide. It will remove the photos from photo library or main photos view, which includes moments, collections and years and put them only in one spot. It will put that photo in the hidden album at the very bottom of the albums page. Even though it's hidden from the rest of your library, it's not completely locked down. Someone can still come in this album and see what's in there as long as they found your phone unlocked. It becomes very useful if you have some random photos and iPhone screenshots and you don't want them to appear in your photo memories or videos, this can be reverted. Simply go to hidden photos album, tap on photo, tap on share icon, scroll down and tap on unhide and the photo goes back to your main photos. Speaking of hiding photos, you can actually lock your secret or sensitive notes. Now this is not same as hiding your photos, Rather, it will actually password protect your individual notes with passcode, touch ID or face ID. And here is how you do that. Tap and hold on the note that you want to protect and select lock note. As you can see, I'm locking it using my face ID. Once locked, you will see a little lock icon next to the note telling you whether it's locked or unlocked. And of course, you can come back and remove the lock if needed. If you have updated to iOS 13, you can jump over to control center and change the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the fly. You don't have to go to the settings to change this anymore. Simply tap and hold on Wi-Fi and switch between different Wi-Fi. Similarly, tap and hold on Bluetooth and switch between different connections. And of course, with a single tap, you can turn them off or back on as and when needed. Whenever you are installing a bunch of new apps or their updates or perhaps restoring your iPhone from a backup, then you might be in a situation where you want to install one app before the other, especially if you are on a slow internet connection. Apple allows you to prioritize the app's download by tapping and holding on it and clicking on prioritize download. So this app will be downloaded first as Apple will shift all the bandwidth to this app first prior to downloading anything else. It's very handy if you wanted to download your favorite social media Media app or game and start using it while the other apps will be downloaded in the background. I hope this has helped you use your iPhone a bit better than you were using it before watching this video. Let me know which one was your favorite iPhone hidden feature down below in the comment section. Also hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this in future. I really appreciate all your support and feedback and I look forward to see you in the next one.